Hello. Hello. We're here from Viva Forever having afternoon tea, the Harvey Nichols afternoon tea with Wilma. And I'm Simon Slater and I play Mitch in the show and this is Rebecca. I'm Rebecca McKinnis, I'm in the ensemble. I'm Charlotte Lucott, I'm in the ensemble. I'm Darren Carnwell and I'm the dance captain. Very nice tea though. <laughs> sure. Thank you, Darren. This is the first cup of tea I've made in about eight years. <laughs> He's in oh, there. He's oh, in. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. Wow. Uh, Fallen apart. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Fallen apart. Oh, there we are. Oh, is it so, just good? What's it like? What's it like? What is it? What is it? Mmm. What is it? Yummy. It's, well, it's really nice. I have no idea what it is. Really? Oh, should we all try it? I'm not sure. Should we all try it? Would you like to try it? Rebecca's dying to get it. I'll, I'll, I'll try a bit of this one first oh, as well. Right. If I just have a bite, then you can. It's quite nice. We don't have to eat them all, do we? We eat them all, do we? Uh, do we? Mm. Mm. I hope so. Yeah, I <laughs> uh, Well, my, let me get my CV out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, no, this is the, um, the pinnacle of my career. Um, I've, been in, um, I've been in a few West End shows. Um, I've done uh, Chicago and Fosse and Chitty Bang Bang, quite a few, quite a few new shows, which is always, which is always interesting. That's what was, was so fun about Beaver is that we um, we've created a brand new musical, you know. So that's always a, a nice process to be part of, um, as opposed to taking over a, a role in a, in a cast that's already set up and learning someone else's track. You get to kind of be part of the creative process. So my my, my role within Beaver Forever is to, as the dance captain, is to make sure that the uh, the standards of the the choreography that's set. Um, remain the same throughout the entire year contract. So yeah. I basically have to try and keep Simon Slater in check. He's <laughs> very, very good. Too many he is really good. <laughs> <laughs> well, they have good. to say that, so I don't give them names. You're marvellous. Yeah. <laughs> He's lovely. I, I'm, I'm the oldest in this company, I think. Are you? Yeah, because Judy Kramer refers to me as Daddy Spice. Oh, <laughs> really? It's not the word. It's a whole, really whole other story. Yeah. Um, Yes, yeah, I've done yeah. a lot of things, and this is a, a. I don't do many musicals. I did do Mamma Mia for a long time, four years. Wow. Yeah. What did you do in Mamma Mia? I played um, Sam. I played Pierce Brosnan, as we like to say. Okay. Um, <laughs> Downgraded for the film. Downgraded for the film, indeed. Poor <laughs> uh, Sam. It's the best Sam. <laughs> <laughs> You're the best. No, I do. So, uh, oh, uh, so there's a little foray into musical like... theatre. Um, <laughs> I normally do plays and TV and film, really. Um, saying that, it's, also, it's, just, it's just a great job to do for an actor, it's a lovely job, and I don't have to do too much dancing and good dance. <laughs> we try to. I do a bit of dancing uh, and singing, uh, but I do, I, I, I have done other musicals to be fair. Um, I've also been on the outskirts, um, and I have another job as a, as a composer for theatre and TV, so I sort of manage to juggle them both. That's my little nutshell, and um, it's all good stuff. We're here till November. Yeah. Which is a huge project, a long time ago. Come and watch. Over to you. Oh, I would well, love to say I'm the youngest of the cast, but I'm not. <laughs> Definitely um, not. I, my, what's my nutshell? I'm like, I started as a gymnast and um, did a lot of competing for the country. And then... You were very successful, weren't you? Um, some could say. She's not saying that, but she was. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, so that was how I started my career. And then I went more... I did musical theatre to start with and then decided that the commercial route was kind of cool. So I danced for some groups and stuff. and A pet shop boy. Like, yeah, danced for the pet shop boys. That's where you first met Lynn, right? That's where, yeah, the choreographer Lynn Page. Um, I've known for like four or five years now. So I did three years of Pet Shop Boys World Tour, which was really fun, exciting. Mm -hmm. And then we were the guests that take that tour, which was really fun. I um, also worked with her on Ellie Goulding um, music video. And then I've worked for CeeLo Green um, and Jessie J and El um, Snoop Dogg. Wow. Snoop Doggy Dog Dog. Um, That's yeah. cool. I know it is cool, and um, yeah. So and now, now I'm the here. Spice girl. Yeah. Quite and and now, you, and now you work for the Spice Girls. And now I work for the Spice Girls. <laughs> <laughs> but it's fun. I like it. I like doing different things in my career. I like to see where it takes me. So yeah. <laughs> I'm just, all I'm doing is staring at the cakes. When's, when's the right time to have Those are really good. The chocolate, the chocolate I really, really one. Really um, so yeah, I um, oh, wow. I've been doing musicals for a while. I've done 
Um, mainly pop musicals, oddly enough. Um, done We All Rock You, and I've also done Mamma Mia, where actually... We did work together. We, we did start together. opposite each other at we one did, point, didn't we? I was third cover Donna. Oh, really? No, I, I was third cover yeah. Donna, and he was Sam. We go back. We had wow. one day on together, didn't we? Yeah. One, no, I'll never forget that day. So. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, what? <laughs> she thinks often of that. So I do. Um, so, yeah, I've done that, done that. And then my last job I was doing was Les Mis on tour. Love which that. is quite different, yeah, to all the pop musicals, but still brilliant. And that was where I fell pregnant. Um, so, yeah, I've had a couple of years out yeah, of yeah, yeah. mummy, yeah. so. <laughs> she's cool. She is adorable. I'm going to try this now. B, she's adorable. What's that one? Oh, it's a Victoria sponge. Oh, is it? Perfect. Oh, of course it of is. Of course it is. Someone thought about that. Go okay, yeah. It's nice. I'm scared to have the chocolate because I it's, gave up chocolate for Lent. Yeah, you can't have that. It's really nice. Oh, you can have the others though. And it's got kind of marzipan on it's the outside. It's the best on the table. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Am I being anyway. So, anyway. Really <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Wilma. It is a contemporary story. Yes. Of a mother and her daughter and friends. And the daughter is part of a girl band mm -hmm. who go into yeah. sort of X Factor land, isn't it? And then she goes into a sort of X Factor, we call it Star Maker in this. And um, we won't give away the ending, but she gets involved with that, uh, with yeah. her four girls. She goes, can I say she goes solo now at that point? Yeah. That's yeah. Not, you know, yeah. Right. yeah. She gets picked out on her own and it follows her progress through the competition. Meanwhile, there's a houseboat, isn't there? Yeah. There is. She comes from a houseboat, lives. she lives on a houseboat. She lives on a houseboat with her mother house. and um, her mother's couple of friends, of which I'm one. So there's two worlds, there's the X Factor competition girl singing world. Quite a, a good uh, a satirical bit of writing about X Factor and fame, really. And then this much more touching, sort of heartfelt story about the mother and being a mum and being a, a single mum on a houseboat in Camden. It's all set in London. Mm. How did I do? Which is very really, really good. Really good. Really good. Really good it's kind of, it's, it, like, as you say, it's quite, it's quite contemporary in that it's, it kind of looks at the the whole kind of celebrity culture that we li that we live in now, and, and the fa the fame hungry kind of generation that that's that's growing up, and actually whether whether fame is is something that people want to want to achieve or want to work hard for, and also want, then once you once you do achieve it, whether it's yeah. whether, whether it's what you for want. you and what and the, all the trappings that kind of come along with it. It's, mm. it's, whether it's a fame is a success. Absolutely, yeah. Success. Or whether it's there, whether there are more important things in life than being famous, mm. you know. So. It's quite clever though the way that they use the whole star maker, which is obviously based on like the shows now, like X the reality TV shows. Yeah. It? yeah. And it's good to see like the behind the scenes that everyone sort of knows what happens, but it's actually, I just know, I think it's really good the way they mm. like. Yeah, the way they kind of yeah. highlight, highlight how how the, the for instance, one of my favorite favorite lines within the show is it's all just Saturday night television. Yeah, definitely. you know mm. how and how that's like for some for, for a lot of people, a lot of the general public, it's like that's 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 real, that's truth, you yeah. know, and, and it's it's certainly. You know, oh, in some ways, it's kind of manipulated by the TV networks and exactly. whatever to to become, you know, a good a good story or a good um, a good television program. So. Find out for certain, love's gonna be there for you. Your love is be someone's baby. I know you've gone, such a gone. I think I'd be a fruitcake. You're all sorts, are you? That's what I thought I would be. I think I'd be a fruitcake. Yeah. 
think you might. I think I'd be yeah, like white chocolate and raspberry Maybe because exotic. I think that's my favourite cake. So oh, I know exactly what I'd be yeah. a pavlova. Would you? Mm. You are a pavlova to me. Yeah, I'd like to try that. Nipples. I might yeah. do it at the same time. I'm going to try one of the babies. Oh, well, yeah. Because yeah. I want to know how you eat I'm it. I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Do you want some of this with me? Mm. Yeah, good. no, no idea. Is it, is I think they were supposed to be spoons. Spoon. Stick your finger in the top. I can't oh, stick my finger behind you. That's lovely. Oh. Is, is it lemony? Mm. 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 Nice. Why? Really nice. Oh. Mm. Wow. That's Ginger's one, isn't it? Yeah, I like that. Oh, no. I like it a lot. Oh, I nice. thought it would be ginger in it. I think oh, it that's is. really good. Mm. The baby. Oh, is it? Is it? Yeah. Is it? Is it? Crumbled? It's exactly <laughs> thought. It's like strawberries and cream. Mm. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm. I mean, I forgot to put my shorts on one night. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Tell that story, that's a good one. We underdress, because um, you not hear about this. No. We underdress um, in one of the numbers, we take our clothes off and we've got stuff on underneath. And like we're in like denim shorts and a red top underneath the grey thing on top. And um, I wear a blue leotard under it all for some reason and one day I just forgot to put my shorts on. So like I got Did you realise until you Not until skirt my skirt was ripped off and I felt really <laughs> cold and I was like, why, why do I feel so cold? <laughs> <laughs> I was just Everyone. in a blue leotard. <laughs> I love Everyone that. laughing at me. I just kind of crouched. <laughs> That's really good. Yeah, that's really good. Hilarity and hilarity every night for me. We struggle in one moment. I struggle with Sally Ann Triplett. And I have to say, I have never giggled quite so much. This is I'll be sacked for saying this. The audience love that. They do like it, and they sort of sing. It was just not uncommon in musical like this. But one night, Sally Ann Triplett got so giggly. I think we were silent for about 15 seconds. Now you always have to you all clap, but it, was, it, it, it is a torturous moment every night. So I never know if I'm actually going to get through it. <laughs> and it's very, very tense. I can't look at her and I sweat <laughs> and I giggle. It's, it's a great moment, but it's, it's tense. Is it one of those moments where now you don't even know, actually know what you're, what you're giggling yeah. about? Not, not it's just, no idea that's, at all. That's the moment. It is a delightful you. moment. It's, that, those are the moments make it make it worthwhile for me. I they make it worth going to work for, don't they? They absolutely oh, do. Yeah. There's moments of real theatre when they're in it and we're on it and it's, it's great fun. Absolutely. So, yeah, absolutely. yeah. I just say, as long as the audience are laughing... As long as we keep you, going. That's yeah, golden. Hello. Absolutely golden. Mm. There is, I'm sure there is still talk, talk yes. Yeah. I think yeah. Universal Music, who own the song, I still want to do an album. We just haven't had time to do it because we've been doing other bits and pieces. But yeah, I think there is still very much talk of that. Yeah. Um, and what's nice, there is quite there is a, 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 a balance between having the, the Spice Girls songs as they were and as you want to hear them, mm. and then on certain on certain songs, kind of just changing them and mixing them around a bit. Mm. So it's a version that you haven't necessarily heard before. Yeah. Because there's a fine line. Some people come and they just want to hear the Spice Girls songs, and mm. so you know we stop and. Uh, That's very silly. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. They um, and the spice of your life. It's very much as as it was recorded, and that's that's the, the version you get. And then are the ones we kind of like flip on the head a little bit. Yeah, mm. but I think there will be a couple. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. No, we're all hoping. Sure. I got a nod from the from off camera. So you can you can get these cakes, these delicious Spice Girl cakes. Harvey Nichols cakes. Harvey Nichols Spice Yummy. Girls cakes at Harvey Nichols in Knightsbridge until the end of February. And there are also Viva Forever cocktails. Viva mm. Forever cocktails. Mm. Which till the end of May, is that right? Yeah, till yeah. the end of May. I'm at Harvey Nichols. Have you had one of those? I'm going tomorrow. Ooh, Ooh so flash. <laughs> now I've tried these. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've had a lovely time. Eating up, I've still got cake in my mouth. <laughs> We've had a lovely time having our little afternoon Harvey Nichols tea with Wilma. Um, and you can um, come and see us 
at the Piccadilly Theatre until November. Has been um, extended. It has been extended. Okay, it's been, yeah. We shall be here um, until November and maybe beyond. Who knows? Um, and um, ATG tickets.com. Yes, ATGtickets.com is the place to get your tickets. Book early to avoid disappointment. Mm-hmm. Yeah.